Hey guys, it's Dom from mobile.co.uk, and right now, this is Firefox OS on the HCC Explorer. Alright guys, now, like I said, this is actual full um, Firefox OS, and this has been made by a guy called cute underscore print on the XDA developers uh, forums. And I must say, for a first build, this thing isn't actually too bad. This is by no means... Uh, daily driver, the things that aren't working, if I pull it up here, uh, the SIM card isn't detected, so that's like no, I mean, this, this says your SIM card isn't read, so you can't call, can't text, can't read any calls or texts, a uh, USB storage doesn't work, or USB mass storage, I should say, uh, video recording and Bluetooth doesn't work, but hardware acceleration, camera, it can take photos, uh, the audio, so speakers, uh, GPS, Wi-Fi, the capacitive buttons at the bottom, but I can only ever get to see get home working, uh, and the touchscreen itself are actually working. So I'm gonna, just going to give you a bit of a quick run through here, but um, what was I going to say? <laughs> actually getting uh, Firefox OS on here is just like uh, flashing any other custom Android ROM. If I just turn the phone off, uh, if I reboot into recovery, if I can remember how to do it on this. It's been, it's been a long time since I've had to uh, use this phone. And wow, this feels absolutely miniature compared to my Nexus 4, which is on charge over there. <coughs> oh, wow. All right, so I boot into uh, my recovery here. In this case, it's uh, twerp. All right, you go to wipe. You wipe your factory reset, You ca at your cache and your Dalvik cache. Then you scroll down and you actually install the zip. It's just like installing an Android ROM. It's a it's a ROM zip. And it isn't, uh, as far as I can tell, it's not actually built on Android like Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu Touches. This is actual like Firefox OS, like full, and they've just made it into a flashable zip, which is absolutely great if you just want it. Like, this is, a, this is uh, by no means a workhorse of a phone. This has got a 512 megs of RAM. 600 megahertz processor, 3.2 megapixel fixed focus camera. Um, what else? It's got a 3.2 inch. Uh, it's either HVGA or QVGA screen. I can't remember. But um, as I said, this is no mean. No, uh, this is by no means a workhorse. So here we are on the lock screen. So you swipe up, and you can either go straight to camera or unlock. So I'm just going to unlock it, and you get your. <coughs> pardon me. You get your uh, icon, so there's a dialer. And I must say, I've got the screen brightness turned all the way down, because otherwise it blows my camera's uh, auto white balance out. Uh, here's SMS. It, it pulls in your contacts from your SIM card and your social networks and stuff. And I haven't set any of mine up. Uh, neck, and then obviously last but not least is the browser. And I must say, this browser is actually <laughs> incredibly good. I went to... Uh, the Verge, which, as everyone knows, is an incredibly heavy uh, website to try and test. Um, is is it's it's heavy on computers, so I mean I've got low-end Android phones that don't run the mobile site of The Verge well, so now I've got the mobile site loading. Uh, once this is loaded, I mean. I said this is this is by no means a workhorse phone. This is if this is like your phone, if you've never had an iPhone, if you've never had a high-end Android phone, this is a perfectly acceptable uh, web browser. And it is full Firefox. So you've got if I can actually hit it right, you get tab support. Uh, I said the actual but the only button I can ever get to work is home. Uh, so if we go to the right, we have our app list. Now, uh, it comes with a couple pre-installed, so camera, gallery, FM radio, there's settings, uh, marketplace, and some other things. And it's like, up until uh, Facebook, all of these were pre-installed. But Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Gmail, Weather Company, Urban Spoon, Google Maps, YouTube, IMDb, Cracked, QuickMeme, FML, and eBay are ones I actually installed, because if I go all the way over to this side, it's like a a, cr a cool little, um, uh, what are they called? A bit, it's a bit of a software repository. So if I can get it to load here, 
it's all these little um it's also search like on ios so if you here's the main screen there's search there's also things like social if i open that little folder up i can like test out all the apps so if i just clicked on facebook it would open up uh facebook and obviously i logged in on mine but um if i wanted to i could well, i've already done it so let me do it again if i tap and hold it say Facebook Home was already added to the home screen. It say, do you want to add Facebook to the home screen? And once you've done that, it does this. So you can launch it anytime you want. And the fun thing is, it's not that slow. Which is strange, seeing as you consider the specs inside this phone. I would love to try Firefox OS on like my Nexus 4 or something with just a little bit more horsepower to see what it's like. I mean... Some of this is definitely based off Android, so if we go down here to the notification, this is definitely based on Android. But do you know what they've got that Android hasn't? They've actually got Quick Toggle in stock. So Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and a, a jump to settings. And if we look at settings, these are obviously based off of Android as well. Um, but if you, if you just look at the scrolling, this is not bad. And this, like I said, this is the first like build of uh, Firefox OS for this device. And... It's not that bad. If I uh, pull in something here, that I can take a photo of. I've got a little toy from I got from McDonald's. Uh, there you go. So if I go in, into the gallery, I can see. It. And do you know what the strange thing is? This uh, I don't even know if Ubuntu mobile phone's got this yet. It's got pinch to zoom support. Out of the box. There you go. And it, actually, I just forgot this. If I go back into gallery and see this. I've actually got sharing support, so share with email, share receiver, Twitter, wallpaper, Bluetooth transfer, image uploader. This is, sorry, this is crazy good, this is first release. I, I still find this mind boggling. And like I said, this, this is a first release. This is actually crazy good, like I said, this is notifications. Um, this is like your software repos, there's actual search. Uh, if we go lock screen, uh, you can change the background if I just turn it on. Yeah, you swipe up a little bit and you can jump into camera or you can unlock. So this time I jumped into camera. If I go back to camera and now I could. Now I can take more photos if I go. If I go up here, I can delete it if I want to. Yeah, delete photo. And I said for a, for a first release, this is actually incredibly good. And the one thing everyone knows, I am a massive WebOS fan. Look at multitasking. So camera, and there's the gallery, and the settings. And this isn't like... Um, uh, with, this isn't like Windows Phone. I mean, you can see there's a little uh, X's in the corners to delete apps, but you can also swipe them up to delete them. This is like, I mean, because it's open source and you can just get it now, Firefox OS is just implementing the full swipe away gesture. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind using it, but um, like I said, I would love to see this when it's fully released and it's actually fully done, but... Like I said, you just saw what it's running like on this. This is in no way a high-end phone. But so imagine uh, Firefox OS running on HTC One, or a Nexus Four, or an S Four, or an S Three, or anything like that. It, if all you do is simple things, this would be great. I mean, HTML5 apps purely to me don't make sense on low-end hardware. Because HTML5 apps struggle on high-end software, uh, high-end hardware. So I'm, but we just saw how like if I, I'm not sure I really want to do this. But if I go to the Facebook app, it actually was it the Facebook or the Twitter? Uh, actually, uh, I'll, I'll go to Twitter and you can have a quick check there. Uh, there it is. If I once this is loaded up, that's the one thing that isn't super fast, which is like loading times. But once everything's loaded, this is actually pretty damn fast. Uh, like once this is fully loaded, I can just show you some of the, the scrolling, which is generally pretty. Yeah, look. This is 
there are some Android phones that aren't this smooth. As I say that, it locks up. But look, Liza, there are Android phones that aren't this smooth. And I said, this is, this is Twitter's HTML5 app. This is literally just like going to Twitter, m.twitter.com. This is, like I said, this is in no way a high-end phone. This is in no way released software. But it's doing well for itself. I mean, there are a couple of oddities. So if I go to Google+, Plus, it will not load the mobile page. It loads the full desktop. Actually, I'm not going to sign in. It loads the full Google+, Plus um, desktop. That's it. We can... We can swipe them away. But like I said, guys, that is Firefox OS by cute underscore prince on the XD Developers Forum. I'll put a link in there underneath. Uh, like said, this is not daily driver worthy. Make a backup of whatever you're doing first. But if you're curious, give it a go. I did, and I'm absolutely loving it. So there you go, guys. You can get me on the website at www.mobile-dom.co.uk. You can get me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom. You can circle me on Google+, which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti. And if you want a consultation for a phone or a tablet, you can get me on the email at domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk. And for those of you who missed it, I also make videos uh, coming soon, like twice a week, for My Colour Screen. Uh, they're a YouTube app, they're a YouTube, app, they're a YouTube channel, and uh, online community for theming android fans so yeah look out for a couple of videos from me coming up over there until next time guys toodle pip